you know, we have a problem in the insurance industry, and it's this, that we are not very good at recruiting people from colleges and campuses, universities, and so forth to come into the insurance business. You know, typically insurance agencies run around a 30% hit ratio where they bring in these new recruits and those recruits stay for three years or longer. That's not a very good hit ratio, 30% after all is said and done. I want to under, I want you to understand that what needs to happen with these new producers who are coming in is that they have to get to $250,000 of commission as quickly as possible. Because if we can get them to $250,000, then we're going to keep them. In this episode, I'm going to teach you what you need to do to get to that $250,000 of commission in about one and a half to two years of being in the insurance business. Because if we can get you to that point, you're going to be making at least a six-figure income. And that's what we want to talk about on this podcast episode. Stay tuned. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Millionaire Insurance Producer Podcast. My name is Charles Specht, and I am glad that you are here with us today. So today we're going to be talking about a few different layers. Layers, because these layers have to happen in order for you as an insurance producer to have success. And we want to be able to help you make as much money as possible. I mean, you came into this insurance business because you want to have something for longevity. You want to make a career for yourself, not just a J-O-B. You want to make more than maybe just you know, a reasonable salary. You want to make a significant amount of money. That's one of the things that being an insurance producer will allow you to do. But the problem is that we have to look at it in layers. We have to look at it as ways in which we have sort of a, a stepping stone to success. And I actually look at it from the perspective that producers have to make certain thresholds, certain step stones in order to achieve that success. You might be at one of these particular stepping stones right now, and you're trying to get to the next one. And I'm going to try to tell you about what you need to do in order to get to these first two step stones as quickly as possible so that you could be making at least $100,000 in take-home pay for the gross commissions that you're bringing into your agency. All right? So the first threshold, frankly, is about $100,000 of commission. Okay? As an insurance producer, we have to be able to figure out how to get you to $100,000 of gross commission for your book ASAP. Now, this is important because if you can't get to this amount, you're probably going to get fired. I mean, I don't know what else to tell you. Like, If you can't get to $100,000, what you probably will be getting is a pink slip. Okay, We don't want you to get a pink slip. We want you to get to the $100,000 of gross commission. Now, a lot of agencies are going to be very patient with you. And this is good. I think we do need to be patient, especially with those people that might not necessarily have a sales background and they're coming into the insurance side because you know as well as I do that the technical side of learning insurance, it's a big learning curve. I mean, it usually takes anywhere from six to 12 months to kind of feel like you're not necessarily drinking from a fire hose anymore, just from a technological standpoint and from policy language and so forth. Sales aside, there's just a lot to learn in the insurance business. We get that. We understand that. We've been in this business long enough. You understand that as well. But the thing is, is that we can't, we're not paying producers. Producers aren't getting paid to learn. That's part of the job description, but you're not getting paid to learn. You're getting paid to produce. You are a producer first and foremost, and so we got to be able to help you produce. we got to be able to help you to set more appointments, to win clients, to win clients in a quoting process, to win clients in a signed broker of record letter. We need to be able to put clients on the books and bring in the commission because that's what pays the bills. So we have to get you to $100,000 because that is going to substantiate the salary that you are making plus any of the other expenses that go along with having you employed. That is a uh, rental space of your office, you know, because that all costs money. Um, an account manager setting aside time to be able to work with you and your accounts and so forth. Um, it just costs money, payroll taxes, everything else. So that's the first level. You can get to the first level by just grinding it out. I mean, you can get to that first level just by like flinging as much mud against the wall to see what sticks as possibly can. Um, you can just try and set appointments, write business for stuff that's say four hundred dollars of commission. You can probably get to the hundred thousand dollars if you're just working on these inbound leads that come in, and you're just you're not quite sure if these are good accounts, bad accounts, whatever. You can get to hundred thousand dollars if you are really grinding. But you do have to have a significant amount of external prospecting in order to get to that one hundred thousand. 
But that's the first layer. We got to get you there. We got to get you to the $100,000. Maybe you're not there yet. Well, let's keep pushing because we're going to talk about this in just a minute. But I want you to keep pushing to get to that level. The second level then is $250,000 of gross commission. Okay, $250,000 of gross commission. Now, Ding, 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 ding. Let me just kind of put a timeout on this. This is sort of a 20-second timeout on the basketball court because I want to tell you about something that I'm going to be doing very soon, probably in the next 30 to 45 days. It's called the Permission Producer School. Basically, what this is about is I'm going to be trying to work with newer producers who've been in the business for about a year, year and a half, and it's going to be a producer school that's going to last for about two or three weeks. It's going to be about two hours every single day, and I'm going to be teaching these newer producers producers about how to set appointments, about how to prospect, about how to you know, create your scripts, about how to set the appointments, about how and what you should say and what you shouldn't say when you're going to your first appointment, how to close the business. There's even going to be some small group you know, discussion in this, but I'm going to be teaching you the curriculum step by step by step by step, how to even figure out what type of business to go after, how to put together your prospect list, um, how to actually get your prospect to say, yes, I'll go ahead and meet with you. All of that, because the goal is to try and get these people to $250,000 of gross commission as quickly as possible. So the permission producer school is what's going to be coming. Um, it's going to have a little bit of a cost to it. Uh, this is going to be the lowest cost that it's ever going to be. It's going to be $497 per producer to actually have a full-blown sales training process. It's going to last about two to three weeks with, with just discussion. It's going to be me teaching the curriculum live on Zoom calls. Um, we're going to be even having maybe a one-on-one -on -one potential aspect to this, but it's going to be $497 for new producers to come in. What's going to happen at the end of this process is that you're going to have a full-blown strategy for you to be able to hit that $250 thousand dollars of gross commission in about one and a half to two years. That's the goal of the Permission Producer School, to get you to $250,000 of gross commission as quickly as possible. At the end of that training, you will know exactly what type of business you're trying to go after. You're going to have it branded in regards to your micro niche. You're going to have your social media taken care of. You're going to know exactly what your scripting is going to be. We're going to have an opportunity to to completely put together your 12-month timeline of services. You're going to know which carriers you're placing this business with. You're going to know what, what scripts to use, how you are generating interest. We're going to have an email marketing aspect to this, so you're going to know what emails to be sending out to your prospects, how to set more appointments, significantly more appointments, by the way, what to be saying to these prospects if you're meeting with them face-to-face -face or if you're even doing it virtually, how to negotiate with the insured to get the signed broker record letter on the current policies, as well as the right carriers that you want to access going forward as you go through this courting process, how to position yourself for, vi for victory, how to get the incumbent agent fired and you hired, how to position yourself in the proposal so that you are positioned in order to win. The whole goal here is to write a significant number of new business loyal accounts that are of a revenue threshold that your agency wants to get to so that you could be making about $250,000 in your gross commission book after about a year and a half to two years. That's what the Permission Producer School is going to be. It's probably going to be closer to three weeks rather than two. And it's going to be about two hours or so every single day where the producers are meeting with me in a virtual setting. We're going through the information. They're doing their homework. They're putting together the data and so forth. It's really going to be helpful. It's going to be significant. And why is this important? Well, let me just tell you. You're hiring these people and you're paying them tens of thousands of dollars to work with you. And you are spending time and resources and assets on them. We need to give them some kind of a specific process that they can follow step by step by step by step. And I'm going to be able to do that for you for $497. $497, helping them to actually think bigger, to go after bigger accounts, $497. Now, you might be in the business now for three or four years. That's okay. You can sign up too. I don't care. If, if you're struggling in order to get to that point, okay, $250,000, $300,000, whatever. The goal is $250,000 in your first year and a half to two years in this business. That's what the Permission Producer School is going to be focused on. The newer producer or the producer who's just been in the business for a few years, their wheels are kind of spinning. They're not getting much traction. They need some help. They need to get back to, to the base on really what works. 
If you're interested, go to permissiongroup.com. You're going to see some information about the the school itself, the curriculum, what it's going to be, and there's going to be a place for you to actually sign up. Like I said, it's going to be about $497 per producer to be in this particular permission producer school. The second time that I have it, it's probably going to be $997 per producer. So if you want to get in right now for about half the price, you need to sign up for this next one that we're going to be having probably in about two months' time. Go to permissiongroup.com to learn a little bit more about it. Okay? Now, the timeout's done. I want to get back to talking about this $250,000. Those producers that are grinding at that $100,000 commission amount, you can continue to grind quite likely to eventually get to $250,000. But the problem is that you're going to hate yourself. You're going to hate your life and you're going to hate your agency principal for allowing you to do it that way. Okay. Nobody wants to have hundreds of clients that you have to handle and service and manage and renew and so forth. In fact, I have a significant amount of like clients that come to me. They've been in the business for five or six years. They've got, you know, 300 clients and they're trying to figure out how to fix this. They don't want to do it this way anymore. And so they're trying to figure out how to unload that, how to go after some bigger accounts that are less service and so forth. And so I'm just telling you, you don't want to grind doing the same thing that got you to 100,000 to get you to 250,000. You can do it. I just don't suggest it. You aren't going to be happy. Your agency is not going to be happy. Your service team is going to hate you. You're not going to be very happy with your career and your life. And so you can do it, but to get from the $100,000 to 250000 requires that you break something. That is, you break whatever, it was, whatever you were doing to get to the $100,000, and you create something different. It might simply just be that you're increasing the size of the account that you go after in order to get to that $250,000. That could be a very easy switch, but it does require a different prospect list. You're going to have to massage and manipulate and create and find prospects inside your micro niche that are going to get you to that point. But I would just sort of like even sort of revert back to the 100000 I want you to focus on one micro niche. To get to the $250,000 of gross commission, I want you to focus on one micro niche. Not two, one. Not two, not three, not four. Sound like I'm going to be a basketball player in the, in the uh, state, of, uh, state of Florida for Miami. Nope, not one, not two, not three. Nope, I want you to stay focused on one micro niche going forward. Now, that next layer after the 250000 is what I would call probably somewhere right around 650000 to 700000 That's a completely different book of business, okay? If you're at the $250,000, you're going to be able to stay in this business. You're probably never going to leave. If you get to a book of business of $350,000, you, know, you are probably receiving somewhere right around, say, 30% on your renewal, maybe 35%, whatever it is, maybe even above that. You're going to be making over $100,000 just on your actual renewal book for the most part, let alone whatever you're making on writing new business going forward. So if I can get you to that you know, $250,000 over the course of about a year and a half to two years, you're probably going to be making about $110,000 to $140,000 in take-home pay for renewal book as well as new business going forward. And that's the goal. If we can get you to that $250,000, you're not going to leave. You're going to be very happy. I mean, frankly, you know this as an insurance producer, it's a glorious business to be in. You get to have full control for the most part over your calendar. You don't have to be here at a certain time. Like You get a chance to sort of like decide what your calendar is going to look like. Um, you have the opportunity and freedom of schedule to simply just go to a doctor appointment with you when you want. You're not stuck in a cubicle for, for the most part. You get a chance to kind of create the business and lifestyle that you love. Now, to get to that 250000 that's the goal. That next level up, that third level, 650000 give or take. That usually is a part where like the people who got to 250000 as they sort of increased, now they grind it out. This is what I normally see. They get to the 250000 they increased a little bit, they begin to just grind it out. They're writing the same types of accounts, and they're just writing significantly more accounts to get to that $650,000 of book. But what happens is it, they just hit a ceiling. Like It just hits them right between the eyes, and it is just difficult if not impossible, to get beyond the $650,000 threshold unless you change something dramatically, okay? That first layer, when you're at the $100,000 to get to the two fifty, dollars you can just sort of like maybe go after some bigger accounts or slightly bigger accounts. It's not a huge shift, but it's a significant shift. It's just, it's just a shift. When you're at $650,000, to get to the next level, which is over a million bucks, 
Typically, I would look at it as about $1.2 million. You know, you're basically doubling your book of business at that point from $650,000 trying to get to about one point two. When you do that, something major has to happen. Either you have to go after the same type of micro niche, but you are increasing, probably tripling to quadrupling the size of the accounts that you go after. Because the goal is to write fewer accounts, not a lot more accounts, fewer accounts that are going to be about triple to quadruple, or you have to add a second micro niche into the mix. One of those two things is typically going to have to happen in order for you to eventually get to the $1.2 million book of business. Okay, so you're at the 650. This is definitely where I see like you know uh, insurance uh, producers. They bring on some business, they lose some business. They they they're really kind of like net almost every single year. There's like they're not really growing at that point, uh, and it even is that at that level, 650 thousand, where a lot of producers just put on cruise control and then they're not really pushing anymore because they start getting very very comfortable. Okay, very comfortable. I mean, if you have a six hundred fifty thousand dollar book of business and your renewal commission is at thirty percent, I mean, you're you're basically making about two hundred thousand dollars a year just on your renewal book. That's a very good living for the average person in the United States of America or Canada or wherever else you might be listening to this. Two hundred thousand dollars is a significant salary. Most most people do not make that. And so it becomes very comfortable and sort of requires a kick in the pants in order to keep pushing yourself to get to that next level. But you do have to continue to push yourself to get to the next level because when you're at 650000 and you might have gotten there with a little bit of a change, a bit of an increase, more of a grind, you will not, listen to me, you will not get to $1.2 million in your book, your gross book, by doing the same thing that got you at 650000 It is... I don't know. I'll just say it's impossible. Okay. I'll just say it's, it's basically impossible. Okay. Something big has to happen. A significant increase in the size of the accounts, triple to quadruple of what you normally write, or you're adding in a new second micro niche, which is also increasing the size of the accounts that you're going after. Not, not sort of small middle market accounts. You're really trying to go after some bigger whales. You're trying to bag some elephants. You're going elephant hunting. You are basically focusing on what I call the Omega bucket. You're trying to write a few large accounts in the year in order to hit those numbers while also getting some you know, good layered accounts in there, but you're not even like trying to spend any time focusing on what might be called sort of that smaller accounts or whatever it was that really got you the 250000 Like You're not even touching that stuff anymore. But that's what you got to do in order to get to $1.2 million. I would say maybe about 30% of my clients are around the $650,000 threshold, and they're trying to get to that million, $1.2 million book of business. Okay? You can do it. It just requires a lot of change, and that's hard. That's hard for a lot of people because they are used to doing it how they did it. They got themselves to this point by doing something. It worked to get them to that point. And for them to actually like buy into a new process to do something different by going after significantly bigger accounts, maybe going after some kind of different micro niche, you know, it, a person has to look themselves in the mirror and buy into it. Because it is a change. You just literally can't get to $1.2 million by doing the same thing that got you to $650,000. It just doesn't work. Now, I don't have too many clients that are, say, $1.2 million and they're trying to get above. I would say less than 5% of my clients are there. Because, I mean, frankly, you know this maybe as well as I do. There's just a lot of ego when a producer has a million-dollar-plus book of business. There's just a lot of ego at that point. Uh, and that's, I'm not trying to say bad things because, you know, there's beautiful people, wonderful people. I'm just saying that, you know, many producers who had a million dollar book of business, they've kind of got some stuff figured out. They're doing some stuff right. No doubt about it. I mean, come on. You got to a million dollar book of business. You are doing something right. You have charisma. You've been going after the right type of business. You know how to close. You're a closer. You know how to close business. But um, I do have some clients that hire me. Why? Because they're trying to get to three million. Not a big number. Trust me, not a big number because there's just not that many producers out there that are even a million-dollar book or greater than that. But the producers who are still trying to push, still trying to grow, these are the producers who are basically trying to get to like a million dollars of take-home pay you know, just from their renewal book. 
And if you get to say, you know, two, $2.5 million book, you know, and you've got a 30, 40% renewal, like, man, you're going to be at a million dollars. And think about it. You're making a million dollars a year just on the renewal of your book because why? You kept pushing. You kept pushing to get to the level that you wanted to get to. Yep, it can happen. But not only is there a lot that has to change in order to get to that point, that point, but there also is a lot that has to change inside the mindset. There is a significant amount of change that has to happen in the thought process of, do I really want this? Am I really willing to keep pushing? Do I really want to keep prospecting? Or am I just happy where I'm at, you know, making four hundred, five hundred thousand dollars $500,000 a year, and I don't really need to keep pushing myself? That is the challenge that has to take place in people's minds in order to get to that level. But those are my layers that I see. $100,000, we got to get you to $100,000 so that you don't get fired. We want to get you there as quickly po- as quickly as possible. Okay, a year, year and a half max. We got we got to get you there as fast as possible. The next level, two hundred fifty thousand dollars gross book. We want to get you to that point because we know that if we can get you to two hundred fifty thousand dollars of gross commission, a few things happen. One, you're not going to get fired. Two, you're going to be making about a hundred thousand dollars in take home pay, so you're not going to get out of the business. And that's what we want to focus on getting you. The next level, 650000 The next level after that, $1.2 million. And then above that, usually it's going to be around 25 to $3 million. That's what people are shooting for once they really decide they want to keep going. But the $250,000 book of business is what I'm focused on in regards to the Permission Producer School. And that's what we're doing by helping insurance agents who are basically three years or less in the business and they're trying to get to that level, or even some producers who've been in the business for a little while, their wheels are spinning and they just sort of need like a a jolt. They need to be ignited to continue to push forward. But we're trying to hold that whole focus is putting everything together for you, everything from A to Z on what you need your entire process and system to look like from A to Z, what to go after to actually asking for the business business and getting the bind order done. Okay. Everything that has to happen in between there, we're putting it together for you to get you to that $250,000 book as quickly as possible. Go to permissiongroup.com and learn a little bit about it on what it's going to be. As I mentioned, it's going to probably going to be around $497. It's going to last about three weeks, a couple of hours every single day, but it's going to be helping you as a producer and your producers, agency owners, you need to send your people to it. It's going to help them Write more business. There is just no downside to this as an agency owner. You're you're spending money hiring these people. You need to definitely make sure that you are giving them the equipment in order to make them succeed. It's going to be about $497. If you get in this first time, great. If not, that's okay. You get in later. It's just probably going to be around $997. Okay? So send your people to it. Go to permissiongroup.com. On that very first page, you're going to see some information for Permission Producer School. Go ahead and put in your sign-up form, and we'll be going ahead and getting you the information to get you and your people signed up. You're going to see some of the curriculum that's going to be available and so forth. Um, Anyway, Permission Producer School, $250,000 book of business. That's the goal. My name is Charles Specht. I am the president and CEO of Permission Network Insurance Agency, where I teach and train insurance agents how to build a $1 million or more book of business through signed broker of record letters. This is the Millionaire Insurance Producer Podcast.